and even if they're hecklers, I don't mind hecklers at all. Hecklers actually add power to the gospel, so uh, all hecklers are, are welcome. There's a lot of people out there that say they're prophets of God, and they're not right. They're not right on. They've missed the here, 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 and they just keep moving forward, but they're not right on. Good day, good day. As God says, ministries, the house of fire, and I'm Prophet Tavis. Hello and uh, welcome. I was taking a break from making videos at Christmas season and things going on and I was wanting to do something different than Julie Green or Man of Grace or Blow Us Vogel Sharp. And then uh, I was going on Twitter, X, and then I saw this from His Glory. And I uh, saw this post and looked at it and I thought it was a very nice Christmas gift from uh, His Glory. Now, if you don't know, his glory is like a who's who of false prophets. And there's no way that uh, this man doesn't know this because he has them on his program and they tell him things about Trump coming back in 21, 22, 23. And they tell him all these things and none of it happens. And so there's no way that he doesn't know, but he he just keeps putting them on. Uh, Julie Green, he has her on all the time. He loves her. But he has the likes of uh, Bull Polney and all of his uh, predictions that never happened. Uh, he has uh, the guy from Canada, Barry Woosh or whatever his name is. Uh, you got Manuel Johnson, Amanda Grace, Robin Bullock. Uh, he's got everyone on there. And he hears it, he makes a note of it, it doesn't happen, and yet he continues going on. So I'm thinking if this guy is uh, posting on X Twitter about this guy I haven't heard of before, this guy needs to be looked at. So this is just uh, this is not a deep dive into this guy, um, this uh, prophet Travis. This is uh, just going to be over two of his last videos on the same day of Christmas. So uh, we're just going to take a quick look and um, see if this is the real deal. Now, the first part of this is going to be covering uh, His Glory's uh, X Twitter uh, about the silver and gold is mine. This is going to be covering that. And then apparently somebody made a comment he didn't like and he repo he done a new video um, covering that. We'll get to that here in a little bit. To everybody, on this 25th of December, I got a word for 2024. And short and powerful but a word from God which goes like this God says the silver is mine and the gold is mine I'm about to take it back and return it to my children 2024 will be known as the year of the kingdom of heaven as heaven invades, invades is in capital letters. She likes to use the all caps. All caps, God loves the all caps. Buy my products. Earth. The sea is open and the path is made straight. We're about to see a new thing that we haven't seen before. And uh, God is about to reveal the treasures of darkness in 2024 and uh, bring his his financial system his financial system back into the earth and he says heaven as heaven invades earth uh, below in the description is the description of this ministry and it also has the PayPal uh, details there for this ministry those who want to be a part of this mobile ministry can so into it. Now, I only watch a couple of his videos, and he's going to be talking about the, the PayPal and sewing into his ministry. And uh, this comes up in the, the, the second video, and I think it's going to be reoccurring as I start digging deeper into uh, his videos and what's going on there. So. The, uh, as I said, the PayPal account is below. Those who can't put into the PayPal account, my my uh, email is below in as well, and uh, you can email me, and 
I'll give you the direct details of the ministry account and you can sow that way. Uh, videos are free, you don't have to worry, worry about that. You can, you can just be a part in prayer or just watch the videos. Here is encouraging everybody to watch the video, share the videos. Um, that's maybe because they're monetized and he's getting a kickback from that. But uh, let him continue. And share them with your friends. Share the videos with your friends. I'm sure your friends would like to know what God is for 2024. Share the videos. Share them with your friends. And even share them with your enemies. Here's the second video he done after the first one of uh, Christmas. It's God Says Ministries, The House of Fire. And I'm Prophet Tevis. And I put a prophecy out not too long ago on uh, YouTube and the other channels that God spoke about the silver is his and the gold is his. And the prophecy was for 2024, speaking of 2024. And the first comment I get is prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. We sick and tired of these prosperity teachers. Show me a poor child of God mentioned in the Bible. How about uh, Matthew 12, 42, uh, where a poor widow is mentioned by Jesus? David wasn't poor. Moses wasn't poor. Abraham wasn't poor. Job got double back. Jacob wasn't poor. Those that come on and say, oh, prosperity teachers, prosperity teachers, prosperity teachers. We're tired of this prosperity teachers. You are useful idiots for the devil. But he wasn't poor. Three wise men gave me a hell of a lot of nachos. He wasn't poor financially. I mean, Judas was his treasurer. Why would you need a treasurer? If you didn't have any money. And my issue here is Judas wasn't a stock investor or took care of IRAs. He, he wasn't there to make Jesus rich. He was... It was there for giving to the poor and, and taking care of the apostles for what they needed. This is a warning to those useful idiots out there that only want half the Bible, the promises. Well, I'm one of those hundred folders who want it all. I want the healings. I want the signs. I want the miracle. I want more of the Father. I want more of Jesus. I want more of the Holy Spirit and I want the finances. Not one of the people in the Bible was poor that walked with God. If you don't want to sow into this ministry, don't sow in. If you don't want to sow into any ministry, don't sow in. But don't expect a harvest. And don't complain about the people that are sowing in or are looking for God's prosperity. So what I'm hearing is if you don't sow into his ministry, you're not going to be financially rewarded. And then you should not call them out whenever they're wrong and being false prophets because others may hear it and see for themselves what's going on and not contribute to his ministry. If you want to be miserable on your couch, Leave everybody else alone. Be miserable about it yourself. It's your own fault you don't want to walk in the fullness of God. That's your problem. But leave the guy who was looking for a hundredfold alone. Yes, I'm angry. I'm upset. And I'm a prophet. And I'll say it like I want to say it. Now, I haven't done my deep dive into this guy yet, but uh, let's do some quick checks and see if he has props. Does he um, Does he have a wizard stick? Does he blow the shofar? Crap. 
fair show or special clothing? Does he follow other false prophets? Elijah streams? Is he a fan of Clay Clark? Does he have a lot of prophecies about Trump? Here are some of the titles from his videos on YouTube. And looking at them and, and seeing things, uh, like I said, I haven't done a deep dive, but I think it warrants it. So um, I'll be spending some time looking back through this guy's videos and seeing what's came true, what hasn't came true, and seeing if he's a false prophet like I believe. And uh, if he is going to see this video and think, well, I need to delete them, like some of these other prophets, uh, they delete the videos that prove that they're false. Um, they're already on my hard drive. So uh, I... Uh, Expect I'll be doing some more videos on this, man. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, there'll probably be more coming as I uh, start my deep dive and I start researching more. But uh, here's a few parting words from Lois. I'm going to address an issue called automatic handwriting. Well, automatic writing, handwriting, whatever. Um, it seems to be out on YouTube, and it's mentioning my name and few other people's names and that um we're deceiving people because what we're doing is cultish it's like prophecies going the opposite direction like prophetic words are this and it, what actually happened was this and i pray for him to make me the esther that i'm supposed to be